Hi, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Cosmic Abundance with Ali. I am so excited for this video. Um, this is something that I've loved doing and put take a lot of like pride in doing and my and the amount of detail. And I'm so excited to share with you how I create my sacred baths. And this, this is something that can be so, so simple, but it is so healing. It can be such like a temple practice and something that helps you connect with your divine feminine, but really just your like most sensitive, gentle it, it, baths are, are like a womb space. So it's such a magical portal. It's like, when you step into the bath, you can actually create so much. A lot of times we're just like, oh, I'm just going to take a hot bath. My back hurts. Or like, I'm going to take a bath. I need, I'm going to relax and read my book and have some self-care, which is great. But we also can utilize this as a space that's like totally magical and you can use your bath almost as a spell. So I'm just going to share, um, I'm going to share some of my practices, the way that I create my sacred baths, what I personally do. And I hope that this helps you. And if you, and just gives you some ideas about how you can like amp up your bath space. <laughs> and people are always like, whoa, Allie, <laughs> like it doesn't need to be so detailed or it's so intricate or just like, whoa, goddess vibes. Like this is so like, this isn't what my bath looks like. It's like everyone can create something beautiful and different. And for me, I just, it, add so much to me to add little elements. Um, and it brings so much more to me. So I want to share what I do because yeah, I just kind of do everything extra and I'm like, why not share? Because it's fun and it brings so much magic. So let's first talk about the different elements of the bath. So I want you to start thinking about when you go into the bath, it's almost like you're entering this portal. There's holy water. This isn't just like water that's coming out of the faucet. This is holy water. It's creation water. It's what are you bringing in this water? You could think of this as like a cauldron, you know, the witch's cauldron that you're stirring. And P.S. Witches are just priestesses that have lost that the temples were burned. So we didn't have anywhere to do this practice. And we got labeled with the word witches, but we're just priestesses. So I want you to think about the bathtub as your magical space. Even in showers, you can do this too. If you don't have a, if you don't have like the tub piece of it, you can also do this in a shower. It's just, you can soak in it in the bathtub. So it's a little bit more potent and it, you know, you get it. So, um, the first element is the water. So you want to honor the water, like, thank you, water. Thank you, water for being the space, the vessel that's going to hold this energy that I'm wanting to create. Um, then you want to think about what is my purpose? What do I need in this bath? So maybe you, maybe it is just a healing bath where your muscles are aching, but let's talk about something more fun. <laughs> so may, let's talk about a heart healing bath. This is like typically, um, well, there's a, there's so many things. There's so many good things we can do with bathtubs. So let's just talk about a heart healing bath. So there's so many things you can bring in. You can bring in plants. You can bring in, um, herbs, you can bring in oils, you can bring in candles, the lighting, the music, the intention. There's so much behind this. So first think about your intention. What do I want to cultivate in this bath? What do I need support with? So if the intention is my heart hurts, I just want to have some, I want to have a nurturing experience. Okay. So what I would say is bring in Let's talk about lighting first, because the lighting is like where that's the that's a huge piece. Think about in your mind's eye if you have a bath with dim lighting and there's like candle light versus like artificial fluorescent light that's bright. So if you're wanting to read, obviously you need like a bigger, you need a stronger light. But reading to me is a different form of a bath because you're not, it's it's like your attention is going to one place, which is totally fine. But if we're doing a heart healing bath, we want all of our attention to be on that and really sitting with what's going on in our heart in that bath so that it can be healed. So the lighting, an easy thing that you can do, turn off the lights and get a pink, get a salt lamp, stick the salt lamp in the bathtub. There's your dim lighting. Or you might already have dim lighting in your bathroom. Adding candles, bringing candles in. Um, I like to put candles in the four corners of the bath. You can get little tea lights or you can get bigger candles. It does not matter. Um, then let's talk about like oils, 
oil. There's so many oils you can bring in the bath. Some of my favorites are, um, I mean, of course you can use rose oil, but that's like $200 a bottle. So that might not be in budget. <laughs> so, um, different oils that you can use like lavender is obviously so good for something relaxing, but for the heart healing bath, I would think about to myself, there's no right or wrong answer with this. Use your intuition. What is the oil that's going to support me? I typically use, um, Yuang Yuang. I don't know how you say that one. It's Y L A N G. And then the same again, that's for, that's really good for like sacral chakra for, um, especially if you're taking like, like in a, I don't want to say like an erotic bath, but something like that. <clears throat> or if you're wanting to amp up your libido, or if you're wanting to, um, like a sensual experience just for yourself, even if you're, even if there's no sexual energy to it, it's the sensual experience of, of being with yourself in the bathtub, this very intimate experience. Um, for heart healing, typically I would use clary sage or geranium. Geranium would be really good for that as well. So it's also just, what do you know about oils? I don't like using fragrance oils. I use essential oil because I'm like, I'm soaking in this. I want it to be something yummy to my skin and not like a toxin. Okay. I'll also usually put Epsom salt baths in. Um, and then also I love like putting a little bit of almond oil or whatever kind of oil you like. I like almond oil the best. Um, so I'll, I'll put some of that in there too. So then your skin's all soft when you, when you leave, but also it binds the essential oil to it. So some of the essential oil will also be on your skin when you exit the bathtub and you'll keep smelling it, which will remind you of this healing. And it just feels so nurturing and comforting and yeah. Um, okay. So then you can add different herbs in for what you're wanting to create. So you'll need to know a little bit about herbs. So you can look up like herbs for healing, herbs for sensuality, herbs for X, Y, Z, and you can put dried herbs in and just, you can buy these online. Like a lot of people will use calendula, which is also um, marigold flowers. A lot of times you'll find that in like yoni steam packets that you can buy um, or dried rose petals. That's what I love. That's typically what I use. Um, or sometimes I'll use like dried sage or dried, if I'm doing like a money abundance bath, which that's a whole nother conversation. Maybe I'll, if you want me to make a video about that and what I use for that, just put in the comments that you want that. Um, and so I use rose petals and here's what I do. You can buy rose petals dried, but to me, it's so much more sacred. I mean, I would love to have roses that I like grow myself, but I live in an apartment, you know, I don't have that skill yet of growing roses. So what I do is when I buy a dozen roses, um, when they're about to die, when they're starting to wilt, I'll take the petals off. This is a very healing cathartic experience in itself. I'll take the petals off and then lay them. I clear my kitchen counter off, put paper towels all down on the, on the counter space. And then I put each of the rose petals and I connect with the rose as I'm doing this. I'm like, thank you so much. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much for your scent. Thank you so much for your energy. Thank you so much for your beautiful magnetism and, and delicate nature. Like, I really appreciate the rose. Um, to me, the biggest, like, <laughs> this is so dramatic. I was going to say the biggest atrocity. Like, that's not it. <laughs> it is so disgraceful to throw your roses away. Like we've already cut the, the flower from the plant or bought it from the store that did that. You can't just throw it away. Like either give the flower back to the earth to disintegrate and let the nutrients come into the earth again, or use the petals. I will still take the stem and like, I put it out by this lake behind my apartment. And I'm like, go back to nature, go back to the earth. Thank you. I will not throw it away. It feels so rude to me to do that. And just like ignorant, like ignorant is actually the word. So um, what I'll do is, like I said, I'll have paper towels all out on my kitchen counter. I'll delicately take the petals off when they're about, when they're like about to die, you can tell. Um, and I'll set them all down flat. Like I don't pile them on top of each other. Then I pick up the paper towels and put those on top of each other. So I'll eventually have a stack of paper towels. Usually it's like this thick with roses in each layer. Then I'll put a heavy book on it for a couple of days. There are much more like fancy ways you can dry flowers that are probably better, but this is just what I do because I don't really know the right way to do it. <laughs> and 
So this is what's worked for me. So then I just leave it like in the closet or something to, for them to dry out for however long it takes. But I'll just take one, then it's easy when you have them in the paper towels and I'll take one little layer of paper towels out when it's time for me to have a rose bath and I'll, I'll open it up. What I love to do, there's two things I like to do. One, I will put tea lights um, across the bathtub. Okay, A, step one, I should have mentioned this first. Remove all of your shampoo and all of your like products from the bath, duh. <laughs> like it's so much nicer when you're working with a clean space. So chloro like clean it up. I love to use Dr. Bronner's oil, uh, not oil, Dr. Bronner's soap. And I just clean up the bathtub first. I'll use like some type of like Clorox wipe or spray to clean off the tops. You don't want to be taking a sacred bath and it's like, there's grunge, like, ew. And you also don't want to have your thousand types of shampoo or shower gel or body scrub or whatever in the corners, like take them out, put them somewhere else for the time being. Okay. Then, um, I love to put tea lights, like I'll put four across the bathtub and then I'll put, okay, I'm trying to learn how to edit YouTube videos or edit videos in general. So I'm gonna to try to insert a pretty picture as an example here. <laughs> okay, so I have the tea lights and then I like to put the petals in between um, the tea lights. And once I'm in the bath, I will pull the petals into the bath with me. Or sometimes it's also really fun. Um, I usually will do this like the second round of when I use these petals. And I'll explain that in a second. It's also fun to just pick up a scoop of them and like, and then they fall on the bath and it's like so beautiful to have the rose petals in the bath. So what I do is um, after I've used these rose petals, God, there's so many things I could say. This is like such a simple subject, but I want to share with you what I do because it's like I create when I'm in the bathtub. So when I'm in the bath and I have the rose petals, I take them off of the sides and I think about what I'm cultivating. And I'm also, sometimes it's just total gratitude. I'm like, God, these petals are so pretty. Like this is so luxurious. <laughs> and um, I'll bring them in the bath. And a lot of times I'll put the petals, once they're soaking wet, I'll like cover my body in the petals. And this is a very sensual experience in itself. And I want you to look at the like, Sensual can also just mean very intimate with yourself. You're like, I love myself so much. I'm pulling in this energy of the beautiful rose into my face, into my skin. Um, it can also be sensual, like in an erotic way. So it's whatever you're feeling in that moment. The rose is a very erotic flower in itself, very delicate. That's another video. So um, yeah, so, and then once I'm done, you, when you drain the water, you don't want to let the rose petals go in because you are going to have a sopped up drain real quick. So I pull all of the petals in my hand and I like ball them up and then squeeze the water out. And then this is like very extra. Again, I'm not going to throw the petals away. That's mean to me. That's mean and disgraceful. So then I will put the petals. I'll take, pull them out when I get out of the bath or the next day. Usually this is actually the next day. And I put them on another paper towel and I'll reuse them because they'll dry out and they're fine to reuse usually another time. Then that time I'll, I'll I don't throw them away. I throw them in nature somewhere. So um, the other thing that I forgot to mention is crystals. Crystals are so beautiful to bring into the bath. So for a heart healing bath, I actually have these right here. I would always bring in rose quartz. Now you can also put a lot of crystals, not all of them. So you need to look into this. You can also put a lot of crystals in the bathtub with you. So I have put this one in the bathtub so many times with me and you just let it sit there and it's, and you, you set the intention of like infuse this holy water of my bath, infuse this holy water with my bath, um, into the water itself of the bathtub. So this will infuse into the water, but you can also put it in the four corners of your bathtub. Um, I also like, I have this pink rhodonite one here that I just use for an Akashic record reading this set. Um, so anything like heart healing, also green calcite is really good for your heart chakra. So you can include these like on the sides of the bath, but also in, in the water itself, you just need to make sure that it's, um, a crystal that can go in water. Like if you put selenite in water, I don't have any selenite near me. Um, or even like 
pyrite, like you can't put pyrite in water. Selenite will literally dissolve, <laughs> like, but a lot of crystals, it will damage the crystal. So you have to make sure first that you can, in fact, put it in water. Um, let me think, is there anything else I want to say? If, when you're draining the water, you need to say thank you to the water. I say like, thank you so much, holy water. Thank you for the experience. Thank you for your warmth. Thank you for cultivating this energy that I'm trying to create. Now, I think a lot of the time, like most of the baths that I've taken are like heart healing baths or like sensual baths or um, just like heart chakra baths, not necessarily healing, but like nurturing. That's kind of just the energy of, you know, the warm water. And it's like, we're in the womb and creation space. We feel like nurtured and held and safe. Um, but there's so, you can cultivate so many things. Like I do abundance baths all the time, money baths. Like what am I creating? I'm calling in love. I'm calling in success. I'm calling in inspiration. I'm calling in sensuality. I'm calling in, um, deeper integrity or deeper. Like that's not really what I meant. Like, uh, deeper embodiment of a certain essence or a certain characteristic. I'll sometimes bring in, I have a lot, I have in my bedroom more so little like statues of my deities that I pray to. I, pr I love working with goddesses. So I'll bring those into the bath with me. Also, I forgot to mention this, like this little plant, wrong side, this little plant back here. I bring this one all the time and I just put it in the corner of the bath and it makes it like, so you wouldn't, it's like all these little touches make it feel like you're going to a spa. And it's just like, wow, this is so beautiful. And then you can listen to music if you want, playing something very delicate, very soft. I don't like, okay, there are certain times that I'll listen to songs with words, but a lot of the times, like I have a bath time playlist. Maybe I'll, I'll actually stick that in the comments here. I think it's called like bubble time bliss or something stupid like that. <laughs> um, bath time bubbles or something like that. You can make your own playlist. So you're not going to get interrupted with music that's like, you know, you're not on shuffle and it's like, oh, I have to get up and skip this. So these are baths that you're wanting to like, you can create something, you can birth something with this energy. So it's like, you can go in and just take a regular old bath or you can use it as, a, as like a spell of like, what am I creating? What am I calling in? What am I cultivating in this, in this frequency? Um, yeah, that's all I can really think of to share if you have any other questions or if you want any of the things that I talked about videos on specifically how I do certain types of baths or creation energy, just let me know. And please let me know in the comments if you liked this video, if you want more things like this on my channel. Um, I love sacred experiences, sacred ceremonies. You guys know I have tons of this stuff on my website. This is what I work with with my clients so much. So if you want more videos like this, I'm happy to, like I am happy to share. <laughs> Um, if you want to work with me on a deeper level, I do Akashic record readings. I do mentorship, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, group coaching, and I have sacred ceremonies on my website that you can do individually on your own. And then a couple times a year, I, I bring these together in a live format where we do it as a group together. So go visit my website, AllieWilkins.com. If you want to stay up to, up to date with all the stuff I'm offering, retreats, all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video so other people can find it. This supports me. My mission is really just to share wisdom with people that helps them create a life that they really are fulfilled by, that they really love. Um, getting people out of all of these, like, and myself too, out of all of these, like, ego ideas and being indoctrinated by the matrix of how we're supposed to live in this system. And it's like, nah, we're here to live a heaven on earth experience. And I want to help you do that based on what I learned myself. And then I'm just sharing what works for me. So yeah, if you want to share the love, I would so much appreciate that. Share the video with someone that you think would like it. Um, and please comment below and let me know what you think about this, what you love to incorporate into your bath. If I forgot anything, um, or it's just something that you do that I haven't thought of. I'd love to hear that too. So anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day slash night, go take an awesome bath. And I'm about to do that. I will go. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.